bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. It's hard to yell when the bat rails in your mouth. Please welcome the very funny Rodman. Here's Rodman. Show your love for Rodman, y'all. Come on. Put your hands together for Mr. Rodman. Funny as hell. Out of Atlanta, Georgia. Let's hear it for Rodman. So, yeah, I'm just trying to rock the spot let people know uh, I exist in this world of comedy. One time I was in a club just like this, two drink minimum, and I was cool with the two drink minimum, but evidently my car had been drinking while I was in the club. <laughs> This did not go good when I got up out of the wheel. I was like, hey, we need to stay in the road. We need to stay in the road. But it was all over the yellow line. I said, this is not a good night to be over the yellow line. And, and I seen the little police behind me. I was like, OK, I'm going to just pull myself over. I'm going to pull myself over. And maybe he'll just keep going. I feel that I'm not together right now. So I'm, I'm going to. I'm stopping me. I'm stopping me. I don't need you to stop me. I'm stopping me. And he pulled up to the car. He said, do you know why I'm pulling you over? I said, you're not pulling me over. I'm pulling me over. I don't really need you to tell me nothing. I, I stop me. I stop me. I, let me borrow your pad. Let me borrow your pad. I feel, like, I feel like I should write me a ticket. Ticket, uh, they, they want you to take a test, and he was like, I'm gonna need you to step out the field and take a field sobriety test. And I was like, This would not be a good night for me to take a test, you know, because I want to pass. I want to pass. And I, I really feel like that would happen for me tonight. Uh, yeah, because I, I haven't studied or nothing for it. It's like a pop quiz or something like that. I can come back Friday, but I'm not going to be able to take it tonight. Just give me some notes, and I'll come back. And, and the test is never in a field. It's always on the road. It's on the road. Because I feel like it's in a field, I'd be able to run better in a field. Because I pretty much know I'm going to have to run it pretty much. I mean, sometimes uh, I be feeling like I'm helping, helping society, like the carpool lane. I got a ticket for being in the carpool lane. Uh, because I didn't read the sign. I, you know, I would just look at the lane. I'm like, whoa, that's a clear lane. And, that's a... and everybody seems to be moving. That's the kind of lane I like to be in. So I get in the lane and I'm riding good. I'm like, yeah, this feels good right here. And the little police on the motorcycle gets behind me. And he's like in a hurry. And I said, well, I need to move over because he is after somebody. Yeah, he is fighting crime. I like that, go officer. Uh, but evidently, I was the person that he was looking for. Cause he pulled right up my car and got behind me, and I thought he wanted to see if I seen anything. And I was going, you know, tell him I seen the vehicle you're looking for. But I was the vehicle. He said, uh, "Sir, you can't be in this lane unless you have another occupant in the vehicle." And I'm like, "Oh, an occupant? I don't know who that is." Right there. <laughs> And he's like, I'm saying another person in the vehicle. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I looked at him and I looked at his motorcycle and I'm like, well, you don't have nobody on the motorcycle. So, yeah. so I think we both in the wrong right now. So why don't you just leave your motorcycle and get in with me? And then we just ride on out together. Yeah. So that, that will work for me. So that way, uh, if not, then I want to press charges too. I want to press charges too. I shouldn't get a ticket by myself. <laughs> this is funny stuff. This is funny stuff. Yeah, sometimes I impress me. Uh, it's always somebody who want to take your money, but you don't really think they're taking it. Like, uh, you, you go to the store now, uh, they always, you know, everything swipe. They don't want cash. They want you to swipe it. Uh, yeah, you got to swipe everything. And then they always ask you at the end of the transaction, uh, would you like some cash back? And you'd be like, well, hell yeah, I would like some cash back. Uh, you don't want some cash back, yeah. But uh, then you get your statement, you're like, man, I got too much cash back. Uh, yeah, I got cash that wasn't my cash. Uh, they were just, but they were just giving away cash at your ass. I didn't really, yeah, but everywhere you go, cash back, hell yeah. I would take some more cash back in there. Just have a pocket full of cash, yeah. They don't, they don't even ask it, do you got it in there? They just say, press the button. You be like, yeah, I 
Let me have 40 more dollars, please. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I got it or not, but I'll take it. Uh, yeah, because they got the little thing at the grocery store now, the, the self-checkout line. And uh, they actually have human beings that stand at the end of the aisle and tell you, hey, over here, over here. You're like, okay, that's a free aisle. She's going to check me out. But uh, you get over there and say, hey, try the new self-checkout. You're like, no, I don't really want to. I don't, I don't work here. I don't want to work here. I just, yeah, that's not, that is not what I'm looking for with my life right there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, where, where did you come in at? That's what I'm saying. Like, do I scan you back? I got to do it all by myself. I don't really, yeah, where do I win at? I don't really think I win. Because uh, yeah, I don't feel like no application or nothing. I'm not, I'm not qualified. That's all I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, they got the little people, but you, you know, you take a chance. You say, hey, let me play with the little machine and try to see how it works, you know, because it's a toy, you know, and everybody like toys. But this is, that's why they train people to do this, because it gets frustrating, because you start off like, doo, you're like, hey, that's fun. Put the item in the bag. You're like, yeah, doo. Like, Put the item in the bag. And then it just frees up, like, oh, please remove the last item from the bag. You're like, okay, what's going on here? I don't know. Why I gotta remove that item? Then you take it back out. Boom! You're like, no, please remove the last item. You're like, I don't know which one is the last item. Like, I got them three items in there. I don't really know like, which one. And, uh, they're like, please see customer service. And you're like, I am customer service. Like, I'm, I'm customer service. Yeah. I see myself. I see myself. So, uh, I don't know what's going on in the war. You know, because I thought that's was the goal of the war is to go get the gas and we gonna have, yeah, cause we all thought that. We were like, yeah, we gonna go take all that gas and we gonna have like a lot of gas. And we were like, man, we got barrels everywhere. We got barrels and barrels of gas. But uh, it has not been a, a good win for us at all. I yeah, I don't think we winning at all because uh, they would not give up the gas cans. So. Cause they serious, you know, those people are serious about their cause, you know, they, they're, they're a little tougher than us, you know, because they, they'll die in the name of their cause, you know, they'll die in the name of Allah. you like, whoa, that's, that's amazing, because they'll just scrap the bomb and boom, uh, blow themselves up, you know, and I would not be a good follower of Allah, you know, because I'm just not going to feel comfortable blowing me up, you know, I'm just saying, I, you know, I, don't, I don't mind doing a bomb on somebody else, but I'm like, hey, I, I, yeah, I know we're going to do the bomb, but I, how I'm going to uh, be a part of the meeting after this. I'm not going to be a part of the meeting. Uh, cause, yeah, I'm not going to be able to follow I like no more because uh, this is not going according to my plan. Uh, so I got plans too. I got plans too. Uh, yeah, that's why I like Jesus. You know, he'll die for you. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's like, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I like this, yeah. He's a savior, he's on the fence, he's on the fence. Uh, yeah, you're like, thank you, Jesus, yeah. Taking one for the team. Uh, I will follow you. Uh, but people don't know they have ugly kids. They don't really know until uh, they bring them out in the public. And people say, whoa, that's your baby? You know, and, Oh, oh, oh. That's, that's, that's crazy. That's what people always say, that's crazy right there, because you don't really know what to say. Because uh, my sister, she had a little boy, and she didn't do the whole research. You know, she, she, she just looked at the branches, but she didn't check the root uh, of the tree. And I ain't, you know, you don't want to call him my nephews. So I don't want to call him ugly, but I'd be like, whoa, he is going through some changes. You know, that's how I do is going through some changes because he'll just come at you. you be like, hold up, don't come at me. I'm going to get you. Don't come at me. I got bad nerves. I can't just let you come at me uh, like that. And I'll be like, well, who let him out? Why you let him out like that? Don't just let him out like that. You don't, you don't do that to people because we got company. You don't just let him out like that. Let people know he out. And then, and she always be like, well, Rod, beauty is uh, skin deep. And I'd be like, well, you need to pull back a layer. You know, because that's that probably, yeah, it's probably, probably up under that skin, because that's the part of that show. That ain't the part. That's the cute part. The cute probably up under that skin. We probably need to exfoliate that part. Of that part of that. <laughs> yeah, take your time. That's a word right there. That's a word. Um, 
yeah, but no, nah, because yeah, she's taking pictures all the time, and I ain't nothing wrong with that shit, baby. Uh, taking pictures, but uh, she always buy the A package, and I'm like, whoa, he is not, uh, he's not an A package, baby. You know, that's, a, that's a lot of pictures to be uh, holding on to. Get an E package and work your way up to the A package. She'll try to give me an eight by ten. I'm like, no, he, he's not living room ready. He's not going to go out there. I'm not going to put him in the living room at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll take a while and then work my way up. But I'm not gonna, people, people be in the living room. I'm not going to put him in the living room. Uh, titty man. I like uh, titties. Yeah, I like titties. A lot of people say breast. I don't, breast is chicken. I don't want it. Uh, Breast. If I want a breast, I go to Popeye's. I don't want a breast. I want a titty, but I want a, a titty that know who it is as a titty. Because uh, ladies' titties are tricky, you know, because in the bra, they look confident. You be like, whoa, the titties are so confident. But uh, then you pop the bra off and you find out that the titty got low self-esteem. You got a lot of people down. And I'm right, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all. Appreciate it.